Hey everybody, it's me. Uh, it's Greg Frankson, also known as Ritalin, and I wrote a poem just for this event and just for Alexander, and the poem is called The Seed, and the idea of the poem is to talk about the idea of potential and what that potential uh, might mean in terms of how each of us comes into the world unexpected in terms of what it is that we're going to contribute to the world but with that seed of potential planted in each one of us. The poem goes like this. An apple tastes sweet when you bite into it, ripened, fully formed and mature when plucked from the tree. But as anyone familiar with botany can tell you, every tasty fruit begins with the planting of a seed. We never know precisely what will sprout when we as humans decide to reproduce. Germination is a cause for prolonged celebration, and then we expend considerable energy contemplating the eventual addition to the family. Questions abound as our souls do backflips. Joy overtakes us when we prepare for delivery. Books read, fear conquered, rooms refurbished, hearts opened and renovated to make a little more space. The potential of what is possible comes screaming into the world, and the beauty of what is within becomes something we cannot live without. As with apples, people come in all different shapes and sizes, colors and classifications, a diversity of flavors to savor and sample to sustain existence. They nourish us sometimes in ways unexpected and all have a purpose for which they were made. Even if in theory we all have the potential for anything, when we are nothing more than a seed and a thought, we grow into our destinies and impact the world in our preordained way once others get a taste of who it is we truly are. We branch out from where we have been rooted and have little choice but to reach for the sky. As we connect with our natures, we become stronger, have the ability to honor who we came from as the expression of the fruit of their labor. When we are redolent of our sense of self, stir the senses and swell bellies with juice. Energy from within flows out of us once you tap us like sap just below the surface. For like apples, we all have the ability to quench the thirst of the masses with our passion. An apple tastes sweet when you bite into it, ripened, fully formed and mature when plucked from the tree. But anyone familiar with botany can tell you every tasty fruit begins with the planting of a seed. In our lives, we till the soil of potential with no assurance of what will start to grow. But we don't back away from the task at hand out of the fear of what we do not know. The beauty of the fruit we bear is a mystery at the moment we first plant the seed. But every apple we gain from the harvest supplies the world with a critical need. It is not up to us to prejudge the outcome when buds sprout anew on our family's tree. Instead, we prepare with love and attention for that new bud's date with destiny. Every moment from the time of conception creates opportunity it's best to embrace. When potential gives way to the fruit of our hearts, there is nothing on earth we can't face. Good luck to you all today, and I really hope the event goes off well. Alexander, it's been great uh, knowing you and getting the chance to meet you when I was last in Calgary. You're a wonderful little guy and you have a wonderful family. Best of luck to everybody and I hope everything turns out even better and even bigger than all of your greatest expectations. Take care.